Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. This is Kristen and my friends with AllFreeKnitting.com and I would like to present you with the rest of this bag. We're finishing it up today. We've been working on this. We've got the base of the bag, the bottom part with the eight rows, and then three sections of five, and then we've got this sort of ridged look here with the pearl and a couple of uh, e-wrap knit rows the, through the back loop. And then we bound off and we've made an I-cord and now we're going to put our I-cord in our bag. And uh, what we want to do is kind of start from the inside of the bag and come up under um, the second to last knit row and right above where this pearl row is. So look for the pearl row, it's the part that bumps out, and then pull your I cord through and then leave on um, eh, a good little tail here and uh, kind of just hold it back inside so it doesn't move anywhere and then now we're just going to loop this on through so uh, you've got this, ri this uh, ridge here, I'm calling it a ridge, this row here uh, that you can see clearly we're going to go over that and back through pull it all the way in and then we're going to come up and we're going to skip a row so we went back in the back and we're going to skip a row and come up on the outside and leave these kind of loose you're not going to really pull it very tight let, let there be a little bit of slack you see that and then go uh, to the uh, skip that row and go over well you're not you're not really skipping you're just weaving in and out of the rows I should say that sorry I didn't mean to make you skip. And then just go in and out of these rows. Whoops, shouldn't have pulled that through. I'm sorry. Um, so you're just staying above this pearl row. And the reason why I have two, uh, we're not actually going to go in between these two knit stitches here. Well, it's a twisted knit stitch. The E wrap is a twisted knit if you're not familiar. Um, but I'm just going above the purled row because uh, it gives it a nice little base and you've got extra yarn to support some weight. But um, I made, I, we made these two rows here so that it kind of hides the width of this, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this handle that we're making. You can really make any type of handle you want. The reason why I made this one is so that it uh, has a drawstring effect and you can have, um, the flexibility of having a really long handle to go over your shoulder or you can have two handles uh, for the for the bag so you can uh, carry it like a like a purse in your hand uh, or if you're uh, making this for a child those can be two straps that go over their shoulders I originally made this bag as a beach bag for uh, my four-year-old she's almost five is what she would say <laughs> About to have a birthday so this is this is intended to be a beach bag although you could really use it for um, like a shopping bag uh, you could make a few of these actually and take them to the store uh, it's gonna be more expensive than buying some of those um, green take-home bags that some people have but you could certainly wash this multiple times and you made it and you made it your unique uh, you, if you left it somewhere at a friend's, they'd certainly know it was yours. So um, you could wash this. This one's made of all cotton like we did, but again, my first bag that I did, I did with a nylon cord and with the um, cotton. And the, uh, the nylon would certainly get a lot of wear. And you could do two cords with the nylon or even... Um, I'm sorry, two short strands of the nylon or even um, just the one and it would be more of an open meshy type bag. I originally was making it to be with um, swimsuits. So we're just weaving in and out here as we go. Continue on until you get to the end and we'll join back up. 
Okay, now we are back at the beginning. Uh, I've, I've come all the way to where uh, this cord is coming on the inside. I actually have um, a row here and another row here, and I would have continued, but what would happen is um, uh, this, this tail would come through here and be on this side on the outside of the bag, and then this one's already on the inside. So rather than having two cords go in this uh, part here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but rather than them two go through the same stitch and join up, um, what I'm gonna do is just link it up here and then we'll just have two skipped instead of one. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, join these two pieces up by tying them together. tie these pieces in you can make a knot or um, however you like to stitch your your pieces together I, I'd rather just have a knot personally I, I think um, for a bag and a handle I'd rather just um, see that it's not going anywhere um, this because this is variegated I'm not really having to be um, really extra picky with how my seam looks so however works well for you um, just I just made it a, a little double knot here and then um, what you want to do is take your crochet hook and uh, start pulling in these threads here you know, all your yarn So just kind of put your needle in and uh, your crochet hook in and start pulling it through. And you've got all this extra material here. So once you've got, um, you know, a few inches going, I've gone about two inches, well, almost two inches. Um, then uh, wherever you feel like stopping and then just cut off the excess and then you've really, you've woven in this good and tight. It's not going anywhere. So after we've got that in there, and you can do that on your own. Um, you've got your bag. What you want to do is kind of pull on uh, one side and get a nice long handle going and then find the opposite side of the bag by kind of matching it up like this and then start pulling on the cord there and feeding it through and get an identical side. That size, I'm sorry, can't talk. So we have got our bag here. We've got two handles. See that? And we've got this drawstring. Um, you could really make it into a full, uh, fully closed drawstring bag like this. Hang it over your shoulder. Um, you could have your towel rolled up. See how long of a tube this is? Uh, what I've done is I roll up my towel and then have it long ways in here. And then you just open that up and, and you can certainly keep this an open loose uh, bag here and then hold on to your handles. The other thing you can do is pull on it and then you've got a super long handle for hanging things or um, putting it over your arm. Whatever you want to do, it's just a, a nice flexible bag. You could even use it as a purse if you like. So I'm so glad to present this with you and my friends at allfreeknitting.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Have fun with this bag. Be sure and log on to our Facebook site and share your creations as well. Again, this is Kristen at Good Knit Kisses. Happy looming! Mm -hmm.